good morning everyone and uh, particularly to our staff, our students and parents, wherever you may be watching this video. Welcome to the new year and a new chapter in the continuing story of Catholic education in TCS schools. Already we've seen that this year is going to hold some surprises for us. There isn't a day that goes by now when we don't experience some impact of COVID. It's exposing the tensions and challenges of living life to a new set of rules. There seems to be no shortage of opinions as to the most appropriate response to new circumstances as they arise. There's a lovely quote by African-American theologian Howard Thurman, which I came across recently, and it has particular relevance to the situation we currently find ourselves in. Thurman says, don't ask what the world needs. Ask what makes you come alive and go do it. Because what the world needs now is people who have come alive. This statement turns conventional thinking on its head by suggesting that the best way forward lies not in some external authority or agency, but within each of us. He questions that other than complying with the directions of our political and health leaders, is there more we could be doing to bring hope and reassurance to our relationships with our family, with colleagues and our students? Thurman's assertion is that at times like this, we should look to rediscover those intrinsic human attributes and qualities which bring life and hope to our relationships. These are what we know as the gospel values, and they are a distinctive feature of our schools. For students, in fact, for all people connected to our schools, there is no more powerful or, or needed message in times of vulnerability than our strongest commitment to these values. Our words and actions now reinforce our commitment to replace fear and a sense of helplessness with hope and reassurance. Acting with courtesy, working together, thinking of others, complementing the work of another, including someone on the outer, expecting the best of myself and others, saying sorry and apologising, greeting others with a positive attitude and doing my job well. Living lives for others helps us to come more fully alive and in doing so spreads a life-giving sense of confidence and well-being to those we love and care for. So as we start the countdown to the start of term, our commitment to those values is needed more than ever and sends a clear message that we are unmistakably and distinctively Catholic. Like you, I am very keen that we work together to make this transition back to full-time face-to-face learning as safe and reassuring for all staff, students and families. I will ensure that where additional resourcing is required to support staff, students or families, it will be provided. We can each do this best within our own communities by being people of goodwill who certainly want the best for ourselves, but also for each other. I wish you all the best for a positive and successful start to the year. And I look forward to working with you in making a real difference to the many hearts and minds who will soon be turning up in our schools.